Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if... Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Mark. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I had no choice. David Madsen is an asshole. You had the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate, what are you? I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Um, what about this? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. Do you know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party mm. and ended up making out with a bunch of people. Shit. And I have no memory of it. Chick, you got drugged. Doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank one. Um... Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Yep, she then got drugged. Then Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. She got drugged. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Sure, go for it. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Um, it's a priest. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think you should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. No, Thanks, no, Max. no, no, shit. I flat cut, flat cut, pick up, pick up. Um. Good job, Dr. Max. 
She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Look down, turn around, speak so to Max, her. can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. Right, come on. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. He didn't help you. There's no way Should he helped you. Should I go you. to the police? Um, go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you on everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has done some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Um, yeah, fuck them. No, actually. Right, let's do that one more time. We'll go with the first one. Fuck it. So, Max? If you do that... Right, skip all that. La, 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 la. Yeah, we've been through that. Right, I know that that's hard for her. But if she can hold on... That would be ideal. She can make it... Where's that? From the hurt your fingers, text in the A button first. Mm -hmm. hey, what was that on about? Is that that weird text? Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Ooh, I'm so scared, prick. Fuck off. You come for me, I dare you. Fucking dare you. I got the power of time travel, bitch. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Uh, let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Um, Victoria. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. <laughs> bossy best I friends? I guess I've had mean bossy best friends too. Better than having mean bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our time. No, fuck that. I don't give a shit. Max, come on over here. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. 
Yes. That was intense. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real <laughs> everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Can't oh, mate, I'm I sorry. I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go ape myself. I'm sorry, dude, but it's one of those things. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Yes, it does. <sighs> right, I'm guessing I'll go into Chloe's. Am I? Hmm. Don't know. I don't know where I'm going. Oh my god. I know this song. Cast the light. You know that I'll be around to guide you. I know we've missed moments when we run behind. I'm Song's sick. I like Plan B's version. It's got rap in there. I'm guessing I'll get off here. Yep. Right. Do I get to take control or is it still going to be a cinematic thing? Don't try to take it. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. 